Well, hello there, and welcome to another beautiful night for an adventure. With the Chicago backdrop behind us, it is time to do another adventure. We just spent all day at the Shedd Aquarium here, and I was going to do also the Field Museum, but there's just not enough time in a day to do both. So I figured we'll go get some dinner at Harry Carey's, a, Ch a Chicago Cubbies nod. We saw Soldier Field right over there a little bit earlier, so why not check out Harry Carey's. I drove by there on the way here and I thought that would be a great thing to do. And so, come on with me you guys. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, let's go see what there is to see. destination right in the center of our screen. Harry Carey's! This restaurant over here, the Parlor Pizza Bar, has a cool little patio area. And look at that little, little lamp lights for sitting down and enjoying. Really pretty out here. And here it is, Harry Carey's Restaurant and Bar. We're gonna check it out. This is kind of like an old style entrance to a bar. Harry Carey's Italian Steakhouse. I love Italian, I love steaks. This is gonna be good. All right, the menu looks absolutely delicious. And if you wanna see more of it, just scan this right here. And before we even get in, face masks required, and you can even get a Harry Carey, holy cow, face mask for only $7. That is quite tempting right there. In the lobby, there is a bust of Harry Carey in his big glasses. And here in the entryway, there's pictures of famous people like John Cusack who've taken their pictures next to it. Harry Carey himself. Oh my gosh. All sorts of famous people. You might recognize this guy from Curb Your Enthusiasm. America. <laughs> and Greg Brady. Even Greg Brady stopped here. So just like all of the rest of the famous people, I'm gonna take my picture here with Harry Carey too. Harry Carey, holy cow. Oh look at this, they even have a Harry Carey made out of Lego. I love that. So there's the restaurant over there. That's where we came in. We're gonna sit in the bar because there's just open seating in here. And look at this beautiful bar area with plenty of TVs, booths. This should be very, very good. And so I just sat down, got a beverage, and got some free chips here. We're gonna give those a try. I've heard they are dangerous. And here we go. Chip up. Cheers to ya. Let's give it a try. Mm. You know, I don't think I've ever had a homemade chip before. That is absolutely wonderful. So good, crunchy and flavorful. This is worth the price of admission right here, which is free, but still worth it. Well, I started off with a little bit of shrimp cocktail today and look at the size of that shrimp. Oh my goodness. It's almost as big as my hand. That's crazy. And so here we go. We got ourselves a shrimp. We're gonna dip it in a little bit of sauce and take a bite down the hatch. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my gosh. The chips are awesome. We get hot buttered bread with an order. 
This place is amazing. I'm surprised it isn't packed with people, but it is a Sunday night, so I kind of understand that. If you're in the Chicago area, get down here. All right, so this time, rather than the steak that I got when I was in St. Louis, I got a pork chop. I think Harry Carey would approve of a good pork chop. Some mashed potatoes and asparagus. That looks absolutely delicious. All right, so now it is pork chop time. Should we do a little dip of the mashed potatoes too? Pork chop and mashed potatoes, going in. Mm. That tastes so good. The barbecue flavor, the crispiness of the pork chop. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. This is so good. Everything that I've tried here so far at Harry Carey's has been absolutely perfect. So, I can't recommend this place enough. This is where we've been enjoying some dinner. But over here, there's t-shirts that say, holy cow. <laughs> can't help but do Harry Carey whenever I say that. And down here, there's supposed to be a museum of some sort. Probably a Harry Carey museum, so let's check it out. And so this museum here isn't a tribute to Harry Carey like I thought it would be. It all has to do with ex-mobster Frank Nitty. Who's Frank Nitty, you ask? Well, you might recognize this guy, Al Capone. He handed over control of the Chicago mob to Frank Nitty. And what does that have to do with this building and why is there a museum here? Look at these old bottles. Well, Harry Carey's in this building was opened, as the sign says, in 1987. And nobody was aware until 1998 when an electrician drilled a hole in the basement wall. They found an 85 foot long and 16 feet high hidden room that was discovered. It went the length of the bar and it was during the Prohibition era and they had a passageway that went to the Chicago underground so that they could leave and come and go unnoticed. All in this little, little area here. And this is Frank Nitty's address book, one of the coolest things that they found in the collection down here. This contains addresses and phone numbers of powerful government officials and mobsters from back in the day. And look at through here, you can see different things that they found. In here there's a Chicago police call box of all things. <laughs> there's a can right there of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I love it. And they even found this huge safe in the downstairs area as well. Look, it's got these doors, it's got these doors. Very heavy. Oh my gosh. That's no joke. Harry Carey opened a safe company to open it up. Oh. But unfortunately, it was empty. And legend has it that sometimes customers will open this safe and actually find money in it. <laughs> that is not my luck today, however. Oh, look at this. Frank Nitty, Al's cousin, mute as he is sentenced, pleads guilty to defrauding the government, draws a $10,000 fine. That had to be a heck of a lot of money for back then. And here's Frank Nitty's first wife, Anna. Very nice. And look at this old article. Chicago American. 11 years for Capone. Find $50,000 and jailed. And there he is. Look at that snappy suit. Oh, and look at this. We even have real autographs from Al Capone and Frank Nitti. Right here. That is unbelievable. And here's a picture of this very building from way back in the day. And underneath that, these are some dangerous guys you don't want to run into. And here is the most ridiculous but awesome dessert I have ever ordered in my entire life. Here at Harry Carey's, you get a baseball and a bat. How do you get into this dessert? This is how, right here, you smash it. Harder than what I'm smashing it. Holy cow, you really have to hit it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh jeez!
And that is our dessert, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I've got baseball everywhere over here. <laughs> this is so cool. And so now what this really is is some white chocolate, some chocolate, and some gelato. We're gonna give that a sample here. All right, so here we go. Here's our ice cream gelato, whatever you wanna call it. It looks pretty good. Mm. Mm. So good. Everything here has been absolutely delicious. Such a fun place, such great service. I'm telling you, if you're ever in Chicago, put this place on your bucket list. Harry Carries, ladies and gentlemen. They, they hit it out of the park. <laughs> well, this is a good place to end our Chicago adventures here for the weekend. Right in the basement of a Chicago mob scene. This is absolutely fascinating. And it's been an awesome trip here to Chicago. Look at these wonderful pictures from the days gone by. If you guys like what you saw here today at Harry Carey's, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. This was an absolute blast at Harry Carey's here today. We got a museum, a little history lesson, and some amazing food. Thank you all so much for the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side. Thank you.